Hi everyone. What I've got for you today is a very simple backyard project. Uh, if you're in, if you're like me, you're into martial arts. Um, I, I love the bow staff. I love the Joe uh, Bolkin. Uh, but swinging those and actually not hitting anything uh, takes kind of some of the fun out of it. So what I've done is I've seen other people's projects where there's some other YouTube videos. Uh, they use a tire and you can hit the tire and it's rubber and it doesn't hurt your weapon. Uh, but I didn't really care for the design that I saw. So, I have an easier design for you. If you go to Home Depot or Lowe's or any of your home supply over here, you have these posts. And these posts are generally meant for um, sinking in the ground and making a, um, a mailbox or uh, making a post, uh, maybe a fence. Um, it's welded in four spots. Now these things generally go for about $20 at Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, I've seen them as much as $24. Um, I was able to get a set of four of these off of Amazon. They were it ended up being about four. Whoa, they're heavy. Fourteen, fifteen dollars each. I had to practice some kung fu there. Swing that. Uh, I got these for fourteen or fifteen dollars each, and I will say that on one of them, I did. Let me bring this up close so you can see. It's spot welded. I'm guessing that's the right word. Spot. It's welded in four spots where the spines come up, and I broke two of those off. After I sunk it in the ground, I grabbed it and was wiggling it around, and apparently that's not what it's supposed to be for. I used a second one here, and it's been holding up for at least a month now uh, to light use. Uh, so consider the weld. If you know how to do some welding yourself and you buy the cheapy ones from Amazon like I did, you might want to consider putting an extra weld in there just to strengthen that. Um, I'll go ahead and show you what I did. Turn this around. And now, in my backyard here, I have an area that's raised up and dropped down. So if you stand on one side, you're higher than the other. So that's a real big benefit to me. Uh, I can practice two different levels. If I have uh, kids over, somebody shorter, they can stand to the left. What we did is down here on the bottom, we just took one of those posts and we drilled it into the ground. Not drilled it. We uh, dug a hole because you don't want to uh, mess the welds up. Dug a hole, put a post in it, uh, some little crappy 2x4s, uh, and then hammered it the, the couple inches that it needed to go further down to secure it in place. Uh, it came with these nuts and bolts. I've seen on a different video where they even secured it even more by drilling a hole through here and putting um, a bolt, a secondary bolt they bought at uh, home, Lowe's or Home Depot uh, to reinforce it. But the person who did that also had multiple pieces of wood. I just happened to have this post. It's uh, I think 4x4, four 4x4 four, four four post. And I was fortunate enough to have a brand new tire that unfortunately my Son decided to smack into a concrete barrier, and put a little hole in the tire, which is just enough to where it won't hold air, but that means that the treads are really nice. Yes, and the birds seem to like my my uh, like sculpture too. Um, I wouldn't imagine you'd need perfect treads, but I wouldn't recommend uh, a used tire that has any metal sticking out of it. That could be dangerous. Uh, it'll mess your bow up or your wooden weapon. It'll also mess your hand up. Or God forbid any of that breaks off and flies in your eyes when you're smacking this. Um, so what I have is a device here, simple, you got your, your post holder on the bottom, your 4x4 post, and your tire. What I did, we'll take a look inside, is I cut an X. So what that means is that, that I gotta be careful because these are still prickly. You can't see it that well, sorry. I cut an X in the bottom of the tire. I used a jigsaw. I cut it big enough that this post would slide right down on it. The inside is just resting. Over time, this tire will start to sag and you'll see it go from a circle to be in this kind of oblong thing. Uh, if that happens, you take a hammer and you smack the bottom while you're holding the post and it scoots this up, uh, makes your circle again. I'm going to put the camera on the tripod to show you guys how we can use this. How you can use this in your backyard for solo training. I know during our current COVID, solo training is about all some people can do. Nikosan. Alright. Turn this around, make sure I'm in view. Alright, I'm going to go with the higher 
Uh, my head's cut off. But you can see the tire thing really good. From here, this is about my chest level. You can strike the top. Just remember, if you strike the top, it's reinforced with this 4x4 four four underneath. But diagonal strikes, you can strike pretty decent. It's going to absorb that uh, the energy. Uh, it's not going to really ruin. wouldn't recommend this with a broomstick. You're going to want something at least somewhat, I don't want to say professional, but you want a stick that's not going to break in half when you swing it and hit a tire too hard. Uh, so you've got your showman strikes. You've got your coming down the sides. You've got your coming across. Your back and forth if you want to use bow staff. You also have a stabbing that you can do. Just make sure when you stab, you don't stab the 4x4 four four in the middle. The object of this is not to poke the 4x4. Four four. That'll put stress on your um, post holder at the bottom. The object of having a, a, a gap on the left and the right. Move this around so you guys can see. The object of having the gap is so that you can practice your poking. That wasn't a good poke. You heard that. The camera's in the way and the sun's in my eyes. And uh, yeah, I just ate. I got a bunch of excuses. So, it's really good. Just set up a different angle. On this side, it comes up to, um, the top of the tire comes up to my nose. I'm six, six foot, six one. Um, again, if you're doing this and it's just a flat surface, that's great. No need to build it up. But this is just something really simple that you can do in your backyard. It's great for your solo training. I wouldn't recommend hands because, you know, there is wire that's in here. Over time, this being out in the, the heat and the sun, I don't know what's going to happen to it. But everybody's got a spare tire laying around. I got one right here looking to get rid of. Um, or you can pick up a, a used spare tire for, if you have to, 25 bucks or so at a, at a tire place. Just make sure that it doesn't have any wire uh, exposed on it. Um, it doesn't have to hold air, it doesn't have to stay on a, a rim. Really good thing I like on this design, as opposed to other ones that I've seen that were almost in, at, at belly button level, is the other ones you could strike down on, you could strike a, a, a round, you could use your showman, you could use your yokelman to a certain extent, but you really couldn't use your, your uppercut. Your uppercut at an angle coming from the different directions. You put this at your height. I put mine at six foot. That's a good height. If, if you're five foot, put it at five foot, so that way your, your, yoke, your um, showman strikes are at a good constant, teach good muscle memory. Also, you can hit and stop, you can tap and bounce it off so you feel the energy absorbed from it. Uh, if you're gonna try to drive through, hit it and hold it with power, I'd recommend the tops, the bottom, the side, I wouldn't recommend the very, very top. Because remember, you've got a four by four reinforcing that and that's gonna put little dents and dings. Also, be prepared for little marks and dings in your post staff. So if you've got the uh, the $100 Boken that you love to show at seminars and it's your pride and joy, I wouldn't take it in the backyard and smack it up against your uh, $45 uh, tire on a stick. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that. Buy yourself a little $10 Boken or a, a $10, $15 Joe staff, whatever, um, and use that instead. Uh, I appreciate any comments that you guys have down below. Uh, put them down there. Uh, subscribe if you want to. I don't get any money off this. People ought to have a real job. There's no uh, GoFundMe page. There's no Patreon. Make videos for, uh, because I want somebody else out there to see this and say, hey, that's a great idea. Uh, I'm poor and I'm bored, so I think I'll do this too. Um, let me know. If you decide to do this, let me know how it works for you. If you have any questions along the way, let me know. Um, I'll try to put the link in there for the, uh, the, uh, the pack of four for the uh, the bottoms that I got and if not just cruise Amazon said uh, these things see a good length I know there was uh, 24 inch and 36 inch I'm thinking these are the 24 inches they had ones that were a little bit longer but the, that means the post goes longer that doesn't mean that the uh, 
that it's reinforced anymore wherever they, uh, um, God, what's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't mean that it's reinforced anymore wherever they welded it. So these are the 24 inchers and they work fine for this. Um, next up I'm going to be working on a Makiwara board with the same kind of design except instead of a 4x4 in the center I'm going to use uh, individual pieces of wood so it'll have that little flappy kind of thing. We'll put some rope at the top instead of a tire. Uh, and we'll see how the bottom holds up with something that's impacting it going forward and backward as opposed to something that's just absorbing it from the sides. All right, until next time. Sayonara. Just realized that all the video that I shot, unfortunately, was on the other side of this hay uh, pile hay that I got growing here. Look at the, when you live, I moved from the city to the country, so if you live in the city, this is you not tending your grass and you getting a citation. If you live in the country, this is decoration. Hey. All right. So now you can see the circle of the tire, you can see the 4 by 4 the uh, post is the post holder is down here in the ground, you can't see that. You got full range to come up to strike your X's, you're down the center, and your Yokelman's coming from the sides, as well as your thrusts going up the center, trying to hit slightly off center so you don't peg that 4x4. You peg it, it's going to tell you.